Seeing that the former Bentley designer Lou Donkerwalke, chief design officer of Hyundai Motor Group since November of 2020, had a hand in the styling of the GV80 alongside Tony Chen, it's no wonder that the GV80 is stylistically compared to the likes of the Bentley Bentayga and the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, not its direct competition of the Acura MDX or the BMW X5. Genesis says that the V in the GV name is for versatility, something that only a Genesis SUV can offer. In the past, Genesis has been known only for their offerings of high-end luxury, luxury and sports sedans, but noticeably absent was an SUV offering, especially during the height of the luxury SUV craze. Then, in November of 2020 for the 2021 model year, Genesis unveiled the GV80, launched for the North American market. With a plethora of standard safety systems, premium equipment and trim, availability of rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, this Olsen Plant 2 built crossover SUV, styled similarly to the full-size luxury G80 sedan, is sure to be a winner. Available in standard, advanced, and prestige trims, today we are taking a look at this advanced plus trim. Our GV80 is painted in the $400 optional Himalayan gray metallic and features the gorgeous obsidian black over vanilla beige leather interior with genuine open pore ash wood trim. Pricing is shown to the left and the only option is the paint color. Featuring fully independent multi-links in the front and rear, this electronically controlled suspension features road preview, which utilizes a front-facing camera and GPS, combined with computer software, to analyze driving conditions and road conditions to maximize safety and comfort. Safety systems include 10 airbags, front and rear collision avoidance, along with blind spot avoidance, lane departure warning with lane keep assist, haptic driver feedback, and active left and right blind zone cameras activated with the respective turn indication. Available in rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, our GV80 is all-wheel drive with the fully automatic transfer case with viscous coupling that is a rear bias system with adjustable drive modes for comfort, eco, sport, or custom modes, along with snow mode and all-wheel drive. It also features hill descent control and electronic locking differential. Obviously never intended to be an off-roader, for those interested, the GV80 sports an 8.1-inch ground clearance with an approach angle of 21 degrees, a departure angle of 21 degrees, and a ramp breakover angle of 15.9 degrees. There are two engines available as North America won't get the diesel. Either a 300 horsepower 2.5 liter turbo inline four cylinder or our twin turbocharged and intercooled 3.5 liter dual overhead cam, 24 valve smart screen V6 engine. This engine is of aluminum block and head construction with direct fuel injection and an 11 to one compression ratio. This engine creates 375 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, 383 pound-feet of torque at 1,300 RPM. In December of 2020, Car and Driver magazine tested their GV80 3.5T all-wheel drive from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds. 0 to 100 miles per hour was reached in 13.8 seconds, with the quarter mile trapped in 13.9 seconds at 101 miles per hour. Its top speed is estimated at 149 miles per hour. The GV80 features a 21.1 US gallon fuel capacity and consumes 5 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of 422 miles. EPA fuel economy figures for our test car are 18 miles per gallon city, 23 miles per gallon highway, and 20 miles per gallon combined. The sole available transmission is an electronically controlled 8-speed automatic controlled with a beautifully styled glass and aluminum rotary shift knob and features manual shift capabilities via the aluminum paddles on the steering wheel. The GV80 can tow a maximum weight of 6,000 pounds and a maximum payload of 1,126 pounds.
Alrighty, and taking a look around the rear. No less impressive than the front end styling. Dual stacked LED turn signals. Really nice rear window treatment. You got, these are actually uh, red LEDs. They kind of look amber on the screen for some reason. You got this like really nice profile, 3D profile light pipe inside the tail lamp that gives it some kind of a dimension. Right across the back spells Genesis. You got the GV80 and then your trim level over here. Down below, huge wide dual exhaust. Along the profile, the GV80 is very elegant in style with strong character lines and satin aluminum window trim. The GV80 sits on a 116.3 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 194.7 inches. Steering is electronically assisted vehicle speed sensitive variable rate rack and pinion with haptic wheel feedback and features 2.5 turns lock to lock with a 39.3 foot turning circle. Wheels are the 20 by 8.5 inch machine finished medium metallic gray split 5 spoke aluminum shod and 265-50 R20 Michelin Primacy Tour all season tires. Brakes are 4 wheel disc brakes with gigantic 14.9 inch vented rotors up front and 14.2 inch vented rotors in the rear. They are assisted by ABS, electronic brake force distribution, stability control, hill start assist control along with emergency braking assist. These brakes can halt the GV80 from 70 miles per hour to zero in 170 feet. Alrighty, taking a look around the front of the GV80, as to be expected, it's probably the most striking view I don't think there's any bad lines on this vehicle at all, even going down the side profile here. You got your twin LED turn repeaters on the fender flares that match up directly with the twin LED turn indicators on the front headlamps. Speaking of the headlamps, they are dual stacked low profile LED headlamps and you also have white daytime running lights, no fog lamps. Down here are brake cooling ducts and you got the striking Genesis grill. This vehicle almost looks like a Bentley Bentayga. Really nice Genesis badge, your front camera. Just overall really great front end styling. All right, now naturally this vehicle is equipped with remote start as standard equipment. On the key fob, just make sure you lock the vehicle, then press and hold the remote start button. All right, and that's not it. Say you're uh, in a tight spot in a parking lot and you need to get out, but you can't get the door open. The buttons on the key fob actually correlate with the forward and reverse directions here. So to move the vehicle forward without even having to be in the vehicle, just press the forward button and the vehicle will move forward automatically. It doesn't turn or anything. I let go of the button and the vehicle stops and to reverse the vehicle, same thing, just press and hold. There's no object detection or anything like that, but as you can see, the vehicle does move on its own. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, let's take a quick look at the key fob. It's just a Genesis branded key. It's pretty narrow, pretty lightweight, feels good in the hand. And you have eight buttons. You have lock, unlock, lift gate release, panic button. You've got your remote start, forward movement, reverse movement, and flasher lamps. And it is a smart key access system. So by keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to remotely lock and unlock the vehicle doors. To lock the vehicle doors, simply locate this indention on the door handle. A single beep and the mirrors will fold in, indicating the vehicle is locked. To unlock the vehicle, simply grab the handle as you would open it. 
And inside what we find is nothing less than a stunning interior. Absolutely beautifully crafted. Very nicely styled and designed. Very nice vinyl padded and stitched door panels. A very, very soft touch and high quality feeling material. I'm not 100% sure if this is real wood or not, but it's a real ringer for it. It has an open grain texture to it. Feels really, really nice. You've got satin silver door pulls. Two driver memory with easy exit. You've also got the very nice 21 speaker Lexicon sound system. And you'll notice that all the buttons have this really nice aluminum finish to it with knurled edges. Of course, you got your power folding mirrors, power windows and power door lock controls, window lockout. Satin silver trim continues up the door panel. It also hides the ambient illumination. And then you have this really nice contrasted vinyl ribbed padded uh, insert here. Down here, you just have a modest amount of door pocket space with a bottle holder and the main lexicon sound system down on the entry plate you do have a stainless steel genesis tread plate all right and taking a look at seat controls you also notice there's actually a subwoofer underneath the front passenger and driver's seat and you have multi-way positional power seats adjustable lumbar support you've also got active massage and your thigh support that comes out. Really nice finish to the air vents here. Instrument panel brightness and dim. You got your auto start stop feature, lane departure warning, stability control. You can see actually the ambient illumination light here. Lift gate control, parking brake. Down here in the floor well, you have your hood release. You've also got a heated leather wrap tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Overhead, dual sunroofs. All right, let's take a look at the seats. The seats are incredibly comfortable. They're actually the modern Ergo uh, seats for Genesis. They have a really nice perforation design in here. You've also got contrast piping. So far I found the seats to be incredibly comfortable, very supportive. All right, we're gonna pan through the interior. We're gonna show more details. As you can see, nice fluidic, easy to use, electrically assisted power steering. Very interesting two spoke design, very reminiscent of cars of the 1970s. Um, has really nice thick leather padding on here. Really nice attention to detail with the satin aluminum trim. Going into the Genesis logo here, on the back end of it, you do have your uh, up and down shift paddles. Now over here on the left hand side, you have audio controls, Bluetooth controls. You've also got um, various mode controls or you can assign uh, favorites and things of that nature. And over here on the right hand side, you have your trip computer menu You've also got your uh, play, pause, seek, and scan, things of that nature. Menu controls. You've also got your uh, distance cruise controls. All these right here are your distance cruise controls. So you can do smart cruise or regular cruise, set your distance, things of that nature. A traditional analog speedometer over here. Actually very, very well uh, designed. High quality, it looks like it belongs in like a Jaguar or Bentley. Um, so it's a polished stainless steel with a needle, but only the tip of the needles glow and just really nice typeface. And then over in this section, you just have your LCD display with a digital display tachometer. All right, moving over the top of the dash, as you can see here, nice stitched vinyl trim on the instrument binnacle. You've also got the cutout for your heads up display. You've got the huge, almost 15 inch touchscreen display residing on the top of the dash. It is a floating display, absolutely brilliantly designed, very crisp 
menus. And I love the screensaver back here in the background where it actually blends into like your navigation or whatever secondary uh, screen you want to assign. Now you can actually touch through the screen. It's a very responsive screen. Uh, and you have a various different menus here. So you have your map, you have your navigation. So your map is a full map screen here. Navigation menu is nothing more than just address books and things of that nature. You have voice memos, you have screen setup here. Sounds of nature, which we're doing right now. Right now we're in warm fireplace. You've got seat control modes here. So passenger control, third row seat, fold and unfold. Passenger talk, quiet mode, and your climate way back there. Notifications and your user manual. All right, let's move down the center console. You have this really nice angled area here. It is actually all stainless steel, real satin look. You have hotkeys here, so map, nav, your star button, hazards, radio, media, and setup. That all brings you directly into the screens very quickly. All right, moving down, you've got climate controls. A very nice setup indeed. You have automatic, you can turn it on and off. You can set your temperatures here. It is completely dual zone here. So driver and passenger can set their own panel distribution. Automatic mode, you can set low, medium, and high. You've also got three-stage heated front seats, three-stage ventilated seats. You cannot turn them both on at the same time. Heated steering wheel and AC controls. And moving in here, you have USB ports here. You've also got the wireless charging. All right, another really cool feature is this control panel here. So all of these actually control the touch screen as well. This right here is your power button and you can actually do the volume on this neural dial. And then over here is your tune button. You can hit the back button here, your home button and your menu button. And this big click wheel here actually will control the entire touch screen display. So by pressing home, we'll give you a quick demonstration. So you can actually just rotate this wheel Press down to select. You can also go click over. So like say you wanna change your pages or anything like that, by clicking over allows you to change those pages. All right, auto hold for your transmission. Beautifully styled, almost glass-like and knurled edged shift uh, knob over here. You have dual front cup holders and it has this knurled aluminum trim. And in this little quadrant here is your drive mode select. You got your parking camera, parking sensor power switch, hill descent control, and your transfer case lock and your drive mode select. All right, very nice padded armrest. There's actually a button here that releases the armrest here to show very nice and deep storage here. And you have your passenger seat control switch and easy access of the rear passengers in case they want to move the seat away from them to gain more access. Overall, the interior of the Genesis GV80 is an actually very nice place to be. Very well thought out, very nicely styled. Here we have a frameless automatic dimming rear view mirror. It's got three channel home link universal garage door opener. And overhead on the overhead console, you have overhead LED illumination on a very nice clear transparent plastic but feels like glass and then silver painted underneath it gives a really nice uh, just a really nice um, attention to detail you've got overhead lighting and i love this light right here power sunroof control dome override and you got your sos and things of that nature blue link and you have your sunglasses holder here all right and then the sun visors LED illumination, large mirrors. You have a little paper clip there. And of course the sun visors slide out on extension rails. And you have oh, dampened overhead assist handles. 
Alrighty, now this vehicle does have the third row seat installed. It's an optional uh, seat in the GV80. So we're gonna take a look at the third row seat first. To gain access is very easy, locating the button here at the top of the seat or at the base of the seat, it doesn't matter either way. As you can see, the seat tips and slides forward to reveal access to the power folding 50-50 split third row seat. And actually, third row seat passengers are treated to a very nice environment. This About the third row, you've got a really nice speaker system back here. You've got your own positional air vents, power seat uh, recliners for the seat backs, cup holders. On the right hand side, you have concealed storage in this little pocket here and of course there's also tie down hooks here and overhead passengers have their own reading lights back here it's a very nice touch despite how small and cramped it may look the seats actually use really nice materials they are perforated leatherette high adjustable head restraint all right now let's take a look at the second row seats Quick look at the door panel reveals that the attention to detail and styling is similar to that of the front seat. Nice soft padded vinyl with stitched leather. You've also got this open pour wood, satin silver trim, satin silver door speakers. You got window locks back here, one touch up and down windows. More of that nice ribbed patterned vinyl. And of course your speaker here, door pocket with bottle holder, stainless steel tread plate, Alrighty, and the seats are 60-40 split folding seats, a seat three across. They're fully adjustable for forward and aft and seat back recline. You've also got high adjustable head restraints on all passenger seating areas. You've got the same perforations and as the front seats with the same contrast piping. As you can see in the window here, you do have pull-up shades. You've also got overhead reading lights, overhead assist handles, and coat hooks. Pulling the armrest down reveals padded store or padded armrest with review, uh, concealable cup holders. And rear seat passengers have their own positional air vent system. So they got positional vents here. They've also got their own climate control back here with their own fan speed, panel distribution, temperature controls, automatic climate controls, and outboard three stage heated seats. Down in the floor, two USB charge ports, and you have a 115 volt, 150 watt household style AC outlet. Another nice feature is there are seat back mat pockets.
All right, there are several ways to open the lift gate. First way, you can press this button here on the driver's side instrument panel. And just below the rear wiper mount, there's a little button with the lift gate release button here. You can press it. Or you can actually just press and hold the button on the key fob. As you can see, it's a power opening and power closing lift gate. And even with the third row seats up, you do have some uh, modest uh, cargo capacity here. This does have the full mat though. This box right here is basically just the premium owner's manual kit. Nice presentation box there. You got your seat folder buttons here, LED illumination. And then over here, you have your tire mobility kit. To fold the third row seats is very, very easy. Just press these two buttons here. And as you can see, they fold flat into the floor. You have a very nice amount of storage here. But if you want to fold the second row seats for even more cargo capacity, just press these buttons back here. These buttons only fold, they do not re, uh, re unfold them. All right, and to close the lift gate, just press this button in the trim panel. Alrighty, and that does conclude this really long video and review of the brand new 2021 Genesis GV80. We hope you liked the review, and if you did like it, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews, and Instagram at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.